Bishop Olmsted, followed by Archbishop Etchin. Thank you very much. Um, I've appreciated all of these sharings that we've done, and I think it's a, it's a good sign the Holy Spirit is at work among us. These are painful things for us to look at, but we need to do so. I'd like to return to something that Bishop Nostow uh, referred to. As bishops, our first concern is to bear witness to the living Jesus Christ, to the risen Lord. That was why the apostles were chosen, to be witnesses to him. And we know, I know we all take that seriously, and I think our discussion has even been to try to do that personally. But we always do this in a deeply wounded world because of sin from Adam and Eve and ever since. At the same time, we should have no doubt that the Lord Jesus has asked us to witness to him now that it's no accident we're living now and that we together are the body of bishops of the United States facing this crisis. I think we should trust that the Spirit, therefore, is with us and will assist us. Here and now, our people are angry, embarrassed, confused, and disgusted. At the same time, when Bishop Navarres and I had five different listening sessions with our priests, one of the priests said, that the faithful are becoming more faithful. Others are drifting away. I'd like to return to what I see as, a, as a, an, something that has had a big impact on where we arrive now, and that's what was Bishop, mentioned by Bishop Nestow. 50 years ago, we had the issuance of Humani Vitae. And the scandal that followed that, the, the eruption of dissent to that, the great amount of, of confusion that it sowed in our people has had an impact that remains to this day. 20 years after that, one of our own bishop, Bishop Austin Vaughn, auxiliary in New York, gave a talk in which he said that the great dissent to Humani Vitae by so many theologians and the way that was trumpeted in the media and had this impact on parish priests. They didn't speak out against it, but they lost confidence in it. And if we lose confidence in any one part of the teachings of the church, our confidence in everything else is also shaken. It seems to me that when we lose confidence in the teachings of the church, it's a lot harder for us to remain faithful practicing that and that may have some of the roots of where we arrive today I'd just like to remove move to one other point we put out a website on our, in our diocese to show everything that we're doing and if, uh, that's been done and keep our people informed about this great scandal we had over 1500 people responded uh, in the first few weeks uh, to any questions that we asked them what I found very interesting is that those who were most concerned about the scandal were between these age groups, 21 and 30, 51 and 70. So our millennials are very concerned about this. And a large number of them who responded to the survey and said they were very concerned said they themselves are very, they love our Catholic faith and strive to be faithful to it. I think we owe it to our young people to be clear witnesses to all the church's teaching, to do that confidently is one way to witness to Christ. And that witness needs to continue no matter what else happens um, with regard to these other very important actions that we're considering now.